Hope nobody needs this anymore. More wool socks. I'm pretty sure no one needs it anymore. We haven't seen the family and we've been living inside their house for the last two days. Hello everybody, Grace still plays and we're back with more of the long dark. No time for BS, we found the farmhouse, which is so good, and as much as I would try and stay away from this game, even if it wouldn't make a good let's play, I have to play it anyway because it's amazing. We're gonna be looking all throughout this, this mofo. Oh, it's an insulated vest. That might actually be better than the vest we have. I can't really remember exactly what kind of vest we have. What I really want to find is a gosh dang lantern. Oh, what is that down there? It's a first aid kit. Now, the farmhouse in the game is, I'm pretty sure, the largest home-like structure there is. There are other structures in the game, uh, most notably the Hydro Dam, which we may eventually get to see. But the farmhouse is the most, like, classic, you know, homely style structure there is. What do you keep in your drawer, good sir? Anything at all? Perhaps some pork and beans? Nothing. And it has a lot of good stuff in it. Obviously, it has, um, like, a fireplace, which is really good. It's got a ton of wood and fabric laying all over the place for you to use should you need it. I'm liberally going to be using these matches because I was about to say, because I know we'll find more, and that was a match. Moldy beef jerky. Oh, yeah. Looks like we got some scrap metal down here hiding from me. Can't hide from me, scrap metal. I'll find you. Go ahead and light up some more. Of course. Well, you'll be eating plenty in just a minute once I find out everything I want to find out. I don't really know what else to say. Man, there's more books and stuff. Oh, there's a rifle cleaning kit. We can always use that. Although, I don't know if this game will provide us with a rifle beyond the rifle that can kill the bear. Uh, another hat. We could always use another hat. Uh, oh, I saw some gloves or something. Can't see anything now. Let's go ahead and look through this cabinet real quick. Yes, another sweater. That is fabulous. What else do we have down here? Could have sworn I saw something. There we go. I knew there was gloves. Over here we have like a kitchen area. Or I guess I guess it's more like a living breakfast a living area breakfast nook. I don't know. Something like that. You can tear up these curtains if you want for fabric as well. It looks like there's just a little bit of fabric laying on the chair there. How many matches do we have? 24. Still plenty of matches. I'm not really I'm not really worried about using these. The books are what you use for uh, fuel for your fires. Looks like there are looks like there's some firewood in here. I mean, I guess we don't really need to grab it for right now. It's just kind of extra weight for the pack. Let's go and check out this backpack right here. Anything at all? Nothing at all. Now you can also, as disgusting as it is, grab water out of the toilet which you know what we'll probably go ahead and do because water is a commodity now as I said previously we are surrounded oh yeah give it all to me we are surrounded by snow but the water from the toilet interestingly enough is potable water it's water that we can drink without being worried about uh, getting a stomach virus it's like there's a drawer here nothing man come on guys Give me, uh, give me, that, give me that sweet stuff. Where is the main kitchen at? Here it is. Main kitchen. I'll bet we can find some food in there, have you in here for sure, in all these different cabinets and drawers. Go ahead and shuffle through all these. And then after that, I mean, I guess we're going to pretty much look at how the outside temperature is doing and make sure that we're fully... We have plenty of food and drink, and then head out because... That's the, that's the point of this particular challenge, is just to get to the, the Trapper's homestead, if I can remember where the hell it is. And I guess there we'll pick up a gun and blast the old bear away. <laughs> oh, herbal tea. Herbal tea is pretty good, it warms you up. Actually, any hot drink warms you up in this game, which is nice. So, if it's like very cold outside, you can kind of grab something to drink real quick before you go kind of looking around. And it'll provide you another sewing kit. It'll provide you with a little bit of warmth. Sometimes there's meat and stuff inside. Oh, not there. I was going to say, sometimes there's meat and stuff inside of these little objects. But I think more what I'm looking at. Oh, more firewood. 
is there should be a refrigerator. Let me go ahead and keep everything lit for you guys. Even if I could kind of bumble my way around, I'd rather y'all not have to be in the dark at all times. So I'm going to keep a light up as much as possible. Give me some food. All right, more condensed milk. Condensed milk gives you a huge amount of calories in this game. So it's not a bad thing. Peanut butter is another good one, actually. Go ahead and light it up. There is an upstairs to this place too, so we are nowhere near finished. Up we go. And like I said, the the real thing I want to find, gosh dang it, is a lantern. Man, I could use a lantern. That was a magnifying glass down there. You can use that to light fires sometimes. And I'm lucky I found these matches because we're going to go through a ton of them. Anything up here? Oh, it's the family that used to live here. That's sad. Sad and depressing. A couple of pillows. A couple of drawers. Never know what might be what might be inside of these. Ooh, ski gloves. I don't know if we have ski gloves or regular gloves. I know the ski gloves are better than the average glove. Nope, don't want to rest. Not quite yet. Make sure there's nothing underneath the bed or anything. Well, nothing that I can see with this crappy light source. Too much stuff to carry. Well, you're gonna have to bear with it for right now. There's a bathroom in here. I know that. Anything good inside the bathroom? Oh, another medicine cabinet. More bandages is good because I'm sure we'll be getting the living crap kicked out of us soon enough. More toilet water. Yep. Go ahead and grab it all. I'm grabbing all this because when you drop water in the game, it drops it as like little water bottles, luckily enough. It's kind of nice. Little nice feature so you don't have to worry about having a place to store it. You know what I mean? Uh, more curtains and stuff. If we ever need any kind of cloth, man, we are set forever and right over not here right over where is it there should be a master bedroom over here there it is actually that's not the master bedroom that is a bedroom and i can't remember if we looked through it i don't think that we did we can bust up all these tables too we can bust up pretty much everything in the game i mean for the most part shoes those are pointless but they are leather they will get us leather so that we can repair the boots that we have because the boots that we have are not bad Another drawer over here. Have not been having good luck with the drawers, guys. I don't know. Ooh, beef jerky just laying on the table. Never know when you're going to need some of that. Metal lamp. Nope. A uh, little picture on the ground. And a really, really beat up bed. Oh, there's some scrap metal over there. Scrap metal is good for repairing things like your lantern, if we can ever find one. And you'd figure that there'd be one in a place like this. There's really no flashlights in the game, interestingly. All the all the light sources are kind of, um, I don't know. I don't know what to say, like non-mechanical, I guess. There's no batteries or anything that works. So, there's the crib and the table. And was that the bathroom over there? Yes, it is. And we've already been in there. So, this should be the master bedroom. Excellent. Okay, this is the master bedroom. There are at least a couple of drawers and things in here that we might find stuff in. Ooh, worn work boots. Those look pretty good. More socks as well. Going through the guy's sock drawer, he's only got one pair of socks in there? What the hell? Another table to beat up should we need it. Uh, anything on the bed? No, it's just a bed. How about under the bed? There's sometimes something under the bed. Let's take a look. Uh, nothing. Nothing that I can see and nothing that I can reach. All right. Well... I don't know, that's a pretty good haul. There's a toy truck on the ground. Nothing we can do with that, I don't think. It's a pretty good haul for the most part. Let's go downstairs here. Where we're near kind of just some light. And we'll rifle through everything that we managed to get. Plus, we're going to want to fix up our boots. That's for sure. We've got all kinds of gloves. Holy cow. Uh, let's see, we've got new ski gloves. And I think we picked up like basic gloves as well. What kind of boots are we wearing? Ragged leather boots. Okay. But we picked up these worn work boots, and they're actually quite a bit better. Run of the... No, not those. Yes, work boots. Steel toe, the kind you'd find in a construction site. I like it. Let's go ahead and rip all this stuff off. Hour and 30 minutes to rip these boots apart. Holy crap. All right, hold on. Let me get you something to eat. I think we got some moldy beef jerky for you. That sounds absolutely appetizing. Oh, wow. All of our food is in terrible, terrible <laughs> repair. 
Um, but we're not catching any kind of... We're not catching any kind of illness yet, so that's good. Go ahead and wash all that down with some lovely toilet water. I don't know why I got out of that menu. Alright, so let's go and break these down as well. That will get us a little bit more leather, and the sun is going to be going down in just a minute here. Actually, when I go ahead and destroy these shoes, we're probably going to be out of light. Go ahead and break these down as well. Two more leather. We got a ton of leather now. This is awesome. Our guy is super tired, though. Hopefully, we can just get a real quick... Go ahead and wear these. Get a real quick repair in. How long will it take? Hour and 30 minutes, huh? All right, let's go ahead and do that in front of the bed, actually. Need to rest soon. Yeah, I got you, buddy. Hold on. Let me get you to a bed. Get upstairs. If I can find the stairs. There they are. Oh, get up there. And you, sir, get to have the master bedroom today. All to yourself, because quite frankly, there's no one to fight with you about it. Back over here to the repair status. Bring that back together. That takes cloth and leather, it looks like. Hopefully, we get a success here. Yes! Success, 100%. And that helped quite a bit. Holy cow, that was fantastic. Got these wool socks. I think we have some crappy socks over here. Yep. Go ahead and harvest so those up. In my life. Oh, don't complain too much. We'll get you some delicious condensed milk. <laughs> Ugh. All right, so this vest or this vest? Downfill top layer, very light. Um, I'm really not exactly sure which one would be better. I almost feel like at 100% this might be better. I'm pretty sure we have some cloth. So let's see what happens if we repair this. It's only 30 minutes worth of time. So no reason not to do it. We are really, really tired, but not to the point where we're going to like pass out or anything yet. 76%. How's that look now? Eh. Still not great. It looks like it's going to provide... I could just lay down right here. It looks like it's going to provide slightly more like wind resistance, but that's pretty much it. Um, we don't have a hat at all, do we? Oh, crap. Well, now we have a toque. How do you like that? Let's go ahead and repair it. Repair amount 75%. That's what I'm talking about. Our condition is going to go down a little bit, but like I said, once we get some sleep, we're going to be just fine. Oh, yeah, there we go. Another full degree of heat thanks to the toque. Let's go ahead and grab something to eat for this guy. Uh, mm, condensed milk. There you go. That sounds scrumptious. <laughs> 750 calories, though. You can't argue with that, right? We don't have a can opener either. All I'm using is this little knife. Kind of lucky I found it. All right. Let's go ahead and get plenty of shut-eye here. Ten hours if we can. I don't want to use up all of my daytime just sleeping. Plus, he'll probably wake up right about then, I think. Oh, yeah. There we go. How you feeling, buddy? Uh, Pretty darn well rested. Very dehydrated, though. It's all right. We've got plenty to drink. Six kilograms six and a half kilograms of water actually oh yeah and you know what you can even have some little fish in a can as well we've got a couple more things to eat not a ton of stuff really i do however want to continue ripping everything apart and harvesting what we don't need here just because having the more cloth the better now there's no real reason for me i don't think to rip this place apart of all the wood and all that because we're gonna find plenty of wood outside I may ha I may take just a little bit just so that we have some fuel should we need it because I would hate to get stuck outside and not have any kind of fuel to actually cook something or just keep us warm finish up ripping up these socks that's the last one see I'd spend an hour just ripping up socks all right what else do we need to do we have the sweater the vest. All right, let's go ahead and rip this sweater apart. Get a little bit more cloth for that. And then we'll go step outside and kind of take a look through that car that was right around the bend. I don't know what's over there. All right, we're good. How's our pack looking? Eh, we're a little bit overburdened. But, I don't know, maybe if I just top off my drink, that may get us down. The burden, the way it works is... The heavier the stuff you carry, it will wear you down quicker, so you'll get past the rested status a lot faster. And I think you burn actually more calories quicker. Let's go ahead and find out where the... Oh, there it is. I think you burn calories a little bit faster that way too, so it's not great to have that burden. Eventually, you can't sprint anymore as well. You out here, bear? Alright. I don't see him yet. 
Let's go ahead and hit this car. Should be right out front here, I do believe. Let's see. There's the orchard. There's a wolf kind of prowling around. Where's that car? There it is. I knew the car was around here somewhere. Cars you can use as like a little temporary shelter. It's slightly warmer than being outside, which is good. But it's not as good as a house at all. So there is that. Go ahead inside here. Actually, I don't think that there's anything in underneath the hood. The trunk, however, there's sometimes things inside of, like some beef jerky. I don't know why anyone's keeping beef jerky in the trunk. Now you can see inside here, it's negative seven degrees. So this will not keep you alive if you just hang out in here. Go through the glove box. More beef jerky. This guy loves beef jerky. Sometimes there's things up here in the visors. You can kind of check them out by pulling them down. We have to go in the back seat as well because the back seat is like its own little environment. There's things on the floor sometimes. Nothing here though. Call me a liar then, game. No problem. There's also that shed over there that I want to check. And I'm trying to remember if there's a basement here. I'm 90% sure there is. So we're going to check that as well. We got a little doghouse over here. Any dog food by the doghouse? It's edible after all. I'll take just about anything. No? All right. No bear either. That's lucky. Sometimes you can find some tools out in these sheds. Little knives and such. Maybe a hatchet. And sometimes just some firewood. Sometimes you don't find jack crap either. That's nice. All right, that's fine. We'll go into the basement. What I really want to find, and I'm still going to complain about it, is the lantern, damn it. Yeah, lantern. There it is. There's the basement. What is that? I hear something. That's the bear. Yep, there he is. Son of a gun. Followed us to the farmhouse. Well, fine. I'm coming for you, Barry. You just, your, your ass just wait. I'm gonna find that damn gun, and then I'm gonna blow you to kingdom come. Just like in the great outdoors with John Candy. Anyone remember that movie? Too heavy. Oh, more scrap metal. Uh, we could break down, oh, come on. We could break down those boxes if we want. How many flares do I have? I think I just have like one single flare. Let's see what else we've got in here. I'm pretty sure there's a workbench in here. Yes, there is, right up here. Oh, there's a couple. Yes, more matches. Thank you, game. Oh, God. And another toque. I think that's how you pronounce it. Or maybe it's just torque. That would be kind of weird, wouldn't it? All right, later up. Anything over here? Nope, just a bunch of beat-up areas. Oh, lockers. Come on, dog food. Yes. Anything else? Rifle through that. How about this locker right here? When the bar moves slow, usually you have a better chance at finding something, but uh, not this time. Inside the washer dryer, see if we can pick up any new clothes. Need this anymore. More wool socks. I'm pretty sure no one needs it anymore. We haven't seen the family, and we've been living inside their house for the last two days. More scrap metal, more tools, a whole filing cabinet full of crap. Oh, a whetstone. That's really good, because we can sharpen up our knife with this. First aid kit, too. Anything good inside there? Ah, more bandages and more antiseptics. Sure, I'll take it. More scrap metal. And we have 17 matches. I think we have some other matches as well. I'm not 100% sure. Some soda. That's good. Soda's fine. It quenches your thirst and it gives you a little bit of calories. So it kind of performs like double duty, you know what I mean? I don't really think there's much we can make yet. Just kind of look around the floor here. Uh, all right, I guess all we have is these regular matches. These wood matches. There's cardboard matches as well that you can find sometimes. Uh, let's see, we look through all that. Table and stuff. Uh, we could break all these down for some wood if we needed to. Uh, oh, a piece of cloth just hanging out. Wouldn't want to miss that. All right, anything else on the ground over here? No. I think that we're probably going to spend, let's see here, I'll probably spend a little bit of time in here if I have to sleep, depending on how close that bear is outside, or I might just shoot him with a flare gun, that'd probably work too, I don't know, for now we'll probably just call it here, 
So we are pretty stocked up for the most part. We've got uh, what I would consider a decent amount of food and water. We've got plenty to drink and we have at the very least probably, I don't know, maybe like 3000 calories worth of stuff. Better than that though, our equipment is doing way better. I mean, all of our stuff is almost at 100% and I can fix up the rest of it if I want. Tool wise, we got a knife. We can sharpen it with the, up for the whetstone now, so that's pretty good. We have a rifle cleaning kit. If we ever come across a rifle, we've got some sewing kits and a little bit of matches left. And we do have this gun as well. Actually, let's go ahead and load this thing because I don't think it's been loaded. Out. There we go. I assume only one flare at a time. Yep, that's the way it is. All right, guys. Until the next time, hope you're enjoying the long dark. Stay foxy and much love.